what is going on YouTube Modsville USA back with another video and this one's long overdue right here I have a PS Vita 3G model um, this is like a nice galactic blue model number uh, PCH 1100 Japanese console um, and if you're going to be doing this don't make the mistake that I did initially which was um, foolishly uh, remembering incorrectly that um, I thought that all uh, model ones like non-slim PS Vitas had the 3G port uh, I was mistaken uh, some do not many do not uh, so you want to make sure you get yourself one with a 3G uh, yeah that's what you want dudes so that's what I got here and we're going to be installing dun, 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 PSV SD version 2.1 purchased on Tindy straight from Mexico and this one comes from a homie this is the SD extender which will allow us to just uh, open up the old sim card port here and uh, instead of a useless uh, sim card we're gonna have a micro SD slot so we'll have access to our SD card without having to open this bad boy up now, obviously you're gonna want your Vita modded already and go ahead and get um, auto plugin auto plugin 2 installed first and we are going to use this to set it up once all is said and done here uh, so yeah should be simple uh, let me give you some uh, some links here so for the PSV SD um, link down below from the Davis store out of Mexico um, I don't know if anyone else anywhere else to get these at the moment but I also think hit up eChorza at Mike's here at 85 I'll have him linked down below as well he's out of the UK hit him up um, he has got uh, he made these SD extenders and I believe he might also have some PSV SD adapters as well so uh, shoot him a message tell him I, I sent you his way and see what's up. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's get this installed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're rolling in three times speed here. You know, just to keep it keep it snappy. I cut out all of the fumbling around that I did when I was just trying to you know ape my way through figuring out where everything goes. It's a very simple process. So we got four screws on the back. We got two up top by the power connector and two at the on the bottom which I don't believe I show me removing a total of eight crack the shell open use a guitar pick or um, I've got one of those uh, little plastic guitar pick looking tools it is important though you're going to want to pull from the top to the bottom there's a ribbon cable and a uh, and the battery so from the top folds open just like so don't try to do it the other way and come in with your tweezers and undo the ribbon cable and the battery terminal simple as that we're going to be removing that 3G uh, that whole assembly there and replacing it so we've got to get rid of these uh, antenna cables here and you will not be needing these so keep them as spares or throw them away whatever you want to do but uh, those are those are coming out completely and the plastic here just kind of shimmies off there's some clips on the side, simple enough. Now, I have a Japanese console 
that is a Torx T2, but I only had a T3 is the smallest I had, um, and I managed to make do with the T3. Wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it is a T2. I will have one link below. If yours is Japanese, if yours is US, it'll just be easy peasy, just Phillips head. Uh, so we put it in. Don't screw it in yet. If you have the SD extender like I do here. So we're going to remove uh, this little SIM card module here. We won't be needing that. That goes away. I'm going to pull the plastic up out of the console here. This little plastic connector fit our SD card extender through there. Make sure to push it all the way back unlike I did here. Um, because it will be. You're going to want it flush on the back. I've actually got it sorted. I put that screw back in. Totally didn't need to do that at all. And then you're going to want to get it routed and situated. Hooked in. Took a couple thrusts, but I've actually got it to snap in. Just like so. And it tucks nicely underneath. And then you can go ahead and screw it down. and took my tweezers just to get uh, get the cable as taut as possible kind of give it a bend there give it a nice little crease wanted that taut and I just took a little bit of tape just to secure it for good measure now when you first boot the console up you're gonna get these mobile network errors don't worry we're gonna sort that out in a moment but the first thing you're going to do is configure it. We're using auto plugin 2. I'll have that link down below. And we just come on in here and go to uh, the Vita plugins. Configure SD to Vita. And at the bottom one, the UMA uh, PSV SD, we set that to UX0 SD to Vita. I'm not using it, uh, but so I'm going to set that to none, but if you want to use an SD2 Vita in tandem uh, with the PSV SD, you know, get two one terabyte SD cards, have a two terabyte PS Vita. If you're totally nuts, you can absolutely do that. Just set them both up. For me, I'm just setting up the official memory card as well as um, the PSV SD. That's all I need. Once you got it configured how you want, hit triangle. You can go ahead, press back, and your console will reboot. And now I've booted into the 3D or 3G disabler. I will have that VPK link down below as well. Just install it, run it once, and uh, and yeah, no more nag screen when we boot the console up, which is a very, very nice touch. Well, all right, dudes, I've got everything um, set up. I'm still working on this build a little bit. I'm gonna get all my PSP stuff over here. Um, but yeah, this is it. And highly recommend it. There's really no cons to doing this. The only con being you remove a 3G modem, but um, I think you'd be hard pressed to find anybody who would find that a con in current year. Don't think anyone's using their Vita to uh, get on 3G. But yeah, the biggest benefit is that you still have access. God damn it. To your game slot with the SD2 Vita. That goes in here. And then playing physical games just really isn't even uh, isn't much of an option. It isn't very um, doable without messing up all your shit. So. Uh, yeah, it's a very very nice touch 
And if you don't care about having that slot, it's still a benefit because you can get an SD2 Vita and double your storage space. Um, yeah, no cons to this in my opinion. And um, having the SD card extender makes it very, very nice and convenient to pop your SD card out. Now really, if you don't have this, it's not a big deal. Uh, you really only need to access your SD card when you are upgrading it because you can still totally hook it up to your computer uh, with Vita Shell, access all your shit, uh, transfer stuff back and forth over USB. So the SD card extender is definitely not mandatory, but it's a nice touch. And it's, you know, if you want to upgrade the SD card later, it's pretty nice to not have to crack it open. You can just pop it out, boom, back up your shit, transfer it over, and you're good to go. And yeah, I didn't really go over the software in this one, but really all you need is auto plug-in uh, 2, it's the one you want, and uh, the 3G disabler. Um, not 100% mandatory, but you're going to want to get this and run it once, and you can delete it. It just disables the NAG screen when you boot the console up about uh, network features being busted because the 3G module has been removed so so yeah dudes uh, that's pretty much all there is to it leave a like if you liked it uh, dislike if you disliked it and uh, hopefully see you on the next one thanks for stopping by Modsville signing out